Thank you, Bill. A uh, quick shout out to Bill. Uh, he's part of my team with Eureka, and I've had the pleasure of working with him, so it's wonderful to see him in this leadership role. And congratulations to the entire committee for putting this on. Uh, every year I look forward to coming and welcoming everyone because this is very important. It's important because instead of having the future come to us, we're actually going to the future and creating the future and really looking ahead. And it's important because we want to keep libraries relevant and we want to make sure that we emphasize a responsiveness to our community. And the theme is so appropriate in terms of building community. Uh, I want to congratulate all of you because you made it here. Uh, this is uh, the big week in San Francisco for many reasons. Today we're hosting, or this week we're hosting, the Salesforce Convention. It's 135,000 people making their way into the city, so it's crazy. Um, our Civic Center is being invaded by the party that's going to take place with Bruno Mars and Cake. I don't even know Cake was a rock band, but it is. But um, anyway, so all that is happening, and uh, you know they call it Dreamforce, and I'd like to think that we ourselves in libraries have our own dream forces in terms of our staff. So the work that all of you do is, is to be commended and I really appreciate the fact that you're here because of the importance of staff development. And uh, Pacific Library Partnership does a great job and I think this committee is perhaps the most important one in terms of uh, meaningful and impactful work. Uh, we are going through dramatic changes, as we all know, and I think it requires some thoughtful creative disruption. And I think all of you are, are recognizing and acknowledging that that's happening because we want to make sure we stay relevant uh, as libraries. I think it's important to manage change instead of it managing us. And I think it's important to demonstrate leadership in what we do. And I think all of us in the Bay Area can certainly push the envelope hard um, to share best practices. And I think that's what you're going to see today. Uh, with all your peers and colleagues that do tremendous work in community building. In San Francisco, I think that we are definitely demonstrating creative disruption. Uh, as we speak, and you probably will have the opportunity to experience it, maybe you'll hear some hammering and some construction going on, uh, but two floors up, we are underway in developing a state-of-the-art digital media lab for teens. We're excited about that. With that, uh, that we hope will open in late spring of 2015, right before ALA. Uh, with that, it also creates some opportunities for re-envisioning some of the work that we do. And so one of the things that we're also doing is on the fifth floor, which is a realizing a vision of merging all the aspects of literacy and learning, from early literacy to adult literacy to technology literacy. A new space will be opening on the fifth floor to accommodate that. So today's a big day for us because our staff is actually moving to that space. And not only that, we're also migrating to Sierra today. So we're pretty busy, but staff, I have to tell you, and some of them are in the audience, do a fabulous job, and it's all driven by great talent and great creativity. So with that, I just simply want to say that I hope you all have a great day and enjoy the uh, workshops, all the feedback you're going to get. And I know that we welcome you back again next year for the 11th annual. So congratulations and have a great day.